Hi again, everybody. Zach Attack here with your Wednesday, day after birthday, August 10th edition of the Attack Line. Speaking of my birthday, I just want to say that after I made my Attack Line last night, I did go out ball hopping a little bit at Hamlin Pubs in Rochester and Utica. Check the video jockey so I can compare them to my walk. And let's just say I squashed the guy's butt. Especially since he left. Like he pulled game and left. And then I went to the one in Utica. Not much going on there, but I get to see I did get to see one of my good friends, Kenny Van Manley, who I haven't seen in a long while. So it's great to see home. And some other friends of home who are pretty cool. They're gonna see Jenna Jackson next week. So I hope they have a good time there. So it was a pretty good birthday yesterday. Got some things like got some DVDs. Got some books. Borders is going out of business, so I got some books at Borders. So it was a good day yesterday. I got to eat dinner with my family and see some old friends. See an old friend. So it was cool to have that for my birthday yesterday. Let's kick it off with your number ones. Um, it feels like Groundhog Day every day because it's been like the same number ones for the last couple weeks. Adele, once again, number one with her album 21, and still number one on the Hot 100, still blocking Katy Perry from getting that fifth number one, it being LMFAO's Party Rock Anthem. Seriously, is Katy ever going to get a break? Is she ever going to get number one? Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. But there is a new... New country number one. Just a kiss by Lady in the Bellum. Lady in the Bellum. It it proves only one thing. That doesn't matter how sappy and unbouncy it is. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's good and it's by a good band, it goes to number one. Nothing against just a kiss. I like the song, but it's like, it's not need you now. I hope to God. The second single is a wacky song, a bouncy song, a poppy song. If it's like American Honey, I don't care. As long as it's not sappy, slow, nothing, like just a kiss. But it is their first number one for the new album, Own the Night. So Lady A's new number one country, that's the only new thing this week. Adele back at number one. May not be for long. Who knows who, how... Bigger competition, Luke Bryan and Glee soundtrack will be. And when it comes to LMFAO, Katy Perry may have a little bit of help with the remix from Missy Elliott, but I don't see it in the top five. Oh, yeah, I know who's going to kick off a down next week. Jay Z and Kanye. Their album Watch the Phone came out two days ago, so it's going to be number one probably next week. I'm hearing 500,000 for that album, debuting at number one. Um, concert news, a little bit of concert news today. CB himself, Chris Brown, is preparing to go on the FAME tour. The Fame tour, Faith Among My Enemies, or whatever it's called. It'll be here in Michigan at Detroit's Fame Joe Louis Arena on September 8th, Saturday, September 18th. His openers are Kelly Rowland. Fresh off the success of Motivation. And Chris's collab on the song Best Love Song and Kiss Kiss, T-Pain, is also opening for him as well. I saw T-Pain earlier this year at Amp Radio Live. And if he puts on the same show he did at Amp Radio, he'll be fine. I think T-Pain would be an awesome opener. He was great at Amp Radio. He's got a lot of energy. I was very surprised by his energy in his set. He was very cool. Hope he does the same show for Chris. And I know the Chris fans would like. Now it's time for a segment I have to call the Lopez Double. Do, 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 do. You know what I mean when I say the names. It involves the Lopez Doubles includes news from both George and Jennifer Lopez. No relation. Kind of like Babs and Buster Buddy in uh, Looney Tunes, Tiny Tunes. Like, I'm Babs and Buster Buddy. No relation. The same thing with George and J-Lo. No relation. Let's do start with the J-Lo news. After months of speculation and rumors about her AI future. 
Knife Joe Lithgow appeared on Ryan Seacrest's show and, will, and confirmed we confirmed and we confirmed that Ryan and Randy and Steven are back, but then made everyone know that J Lo will be returning next season for American Animal season number Livion. Hopefully with a new voting system intact, hopefully it's not as crooked as last year. I'm sorry. James Durbin should have won last season. So nothing against Scotty and Lauren. I'll talk about them in a second. But Scotty should have not been in the final. He's okay, but he's okay. I think it should have been Pia and James in my mind. Either one of them should have won. Not like I have nothing against James and Lauren, but I was like, it's like too plain for me. Too too predictable. I'll talk about them too in a second with the new singles. Then, to complete the Lopez double, George Lopez got some bad news for him. His show, Lopez Tonight, has been on for a lot of years. But ever since his move to midnight to make room for Conan O'Brien, Lopez Tonight, it's getting canceled. This Thursday, tomorrow night, is supposed to be the very last episode. And it's supposed to feature Sheamus for the WWE. So we kind of waited to have your last guest be Sheamus. It's like the kiss, kiss of death. Kind of like a hint for Mark Henry this Sunday at SummerSlam. Uh, of course, we talked about SummerSlam this weekend. And while on the American had a hook, with, hook up with J-Lo, mentioning Lauren Elena and Scotty McCreary, they both released their videos. Their singles have been out for months. Scotty's I Love You This Big and Lauren's Like My Mother Does. They both released their videos for their songs. I haven't seen them yet. I haven't seen the videos for them too yet, but I'll try to make my best to see them. And Pio Descano also released her very first music video as well for her single being released and cut out this, this time. So we'll see which video is the best. Lauren, Jay, Lauren, Scotty, or Pia's video. See which one is better. And uh, that is going to end it here for this edition of the Attack Line. Hope you all have a great Wednesday. See you all tomorrow for another Attack Line. And probably, yes, a TNA Impact preview and review probably tomorrow as well. Preview with the attack line, we view separate. Just been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you very much, and goodbye.